It's very bright. I want to show you guys the beans we planted. They are doing spectacular. Okay. We have a lot of other things sprouting in here too. So some of these, I don't even know what they are. Some kind of a lettuce or a broccoli. We have some what appear to be tomatoes. These that probably came out of the compost. Um, there are so many tomatoes, so many. But anyway, these are the beans that we planted the purple beans. They are doing so good. There's tomatoes all the way down. All right, well, you know how life is. It got busy. It is now the next day, and it is time now to make homemade sourdough discard burger buns. And I am stoked. Now that we have our dough ready and rising for our burger buns, let's go ahead and get together our patties. That is going to be just as important because of what I'm handling with timing today. I think if I have it all ready to go um, for later when I get home, that's going to be a lot better. So I'm going to start off with two pounds of homegrown ground beef. That is the extent of the planning involved with these patties. We're just gonna play it by ear. Two eggs, a little bit of breadcrumbs, crushed red pepper, wash your sister sauce, coconut aminos. I've never done it this way before with this particular mix of things, but I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm just trying this out too, um, cause I'm not consistent. Not at all, so I'm trying this. This is working out really well. I like this. I like this a lot. I just remembered that I pickled a beet. One beet. I'm gonna try it. I think it's been a week, maybe more. When we were kids, my mom would um, get the pickled beets from the store in a tin can, and they were such a treat. They were amazing. That's probably why I like this so much. But this is one homegrown beet. Highly recommend. I am really glad that we are going to be butchering a cow um, in five days, because I'm pretty certain that I just used up the last of our ground beef. That's pretty amazing. I don't know the last, when the last time that happened was. As I am sure that you can imagine, laundry is a huge part of homesteading life. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you about this pillow. I've been using this pillow from Zawmat for four months now. And let me tell you, this pillow is awesome. The memory foam holds its shape and provides plenty of comfort and support for my neck and head. The contour of this pillow cradles your head in such a way where it is perfectly comfortable 
and you feel a sense of relief the moment that you lay down your weary little head. Zomat's main goal as a company is to alleviate chronic neck and back pain. They have many other products other than just this blue dot pillow. Although I will tell you that this one is both super soft and firm at the same time. Down in the description box below, you will find a link to use to check out their products. Also, they gave me a discount code to save you some money. Use coupon code HAMAKUA15 to save 15% off your purchase. Okay, and that's that. I got all of my errands done, fed the animals, and now it's time to make those burgers. Thank you for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.